I have put up a pertinent obvious question here. What happened to the pupil? Now here we have a situation where the first post op day the pupil was like this. Now what do you presume if you have a patient in which there was an uncomplicated surgery and pupil resulted like this? So let's have a look at the surgery first. This is the patient which was a routine FACO with very minimal amount of nuclear sclerosis and there was some amount of posterior subcapsular cataract. So if you gave, if you have a situation where you do a very routine surgery, as we can see here, capsular excess is being performed and the whole surgery has been included in this video just to highlight the fact that there was nothing wrong which happened which could contribute to the abnormality in the pupil which has been seen here. A very routine rexus, hydrodissection being done, a fluid wave has been created, hydrolyation to separate out the soft nucleus, phacoemulsification which is a quick procedure here because there was hardly any nucleus to emulsify. A very minimal amount of cortex has been left behind which will be subsequently cleaned. So overall it was a very very routine case with no obvious difficulty or any event which could have been noticed during the surgery. A single piece hydrophobic monofocal IOL implanted in the back and please notice that it has gone into the bag although I have not dialed it but because the trailing haptic has been lodged into the bag we don't have any issue here pertaining to the haptic touching the iris or the pupil size. A thorough wash of the anterior chamber cleaning away all the viscoelastic material has been done and the anterior chamber has been properly sealed. Flushing of viscoelastic during the sealing of the anterior chamber has been done so that there is hardly any remnant of viscoelastic left behind. But this is what we get the next day. And this is not the only case, this is one more multifocal case in which I had similar situation. And then a literature search was done in which we found that dynamic oval pupil has been seen in few situations as per as the literature reports. And this is one of the presenting signs of midbrain tumor or any infarct or any herniation of the midbrain through the tentorium. And these are all reported in the neurology as life-threatening situations. Apart from that, cases in ophthalmology have been reported because of the improper positioning of the IOL and this has caused a permanently oval pupil as seen in these photographs. However, in our patient, when we see the patient on the day 3, we find that this is the shape of the pupil which has no abnormality whatsoever. So the question remains what happened to the pupil? Even I don't have an answer and I expect if the viewer has any clue then please do respond in the comments. Thank you.